Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, this video is going to be about Libra, Sun, Moon and also Rising and uh, their re tarot reading for the month of November uh, 2022 and uh, if you do enjoy the content of the channel uh, and you do wish to support us just leave a like and subscribe for it and uh, if you do uh, want to have a personal reading with me you can always go to my website which uh, link you're gonna find in the description uh, down below now with that said uh, let's finish the shuffle here and uh, do the cut and see what we got uh, all right so the first card for Libra uh, that's gonna be the uh, star card followed by uh, the second one of the five of pentacles uh, moving on for the third card for you, Libra, that's going to be uh, the High Priestess. And uh, the final one as a prime card, uh, that's going to be uh, the Four of Pentacles. There are going to be four more cards, uh, which are going to happen to be catalysts to the first four. Uh, but just as an overview from uh, for, uh, from the first four, things can change slightly depending on the circumstances which are going to be shown by the secondary cards here. It does look like that you are going to stumble upon a, a small crisis moving towards the middle of the month, you know, and, and that crisis is going to be ensued primarily by uh, that things are not going to work out the way you planned or anticipated but it does look like that you are about to make a very very quick recover especially when the month is uh, halfway through and you enter into the uh, late stage of the month itself now depending on what we're going to get for the um, <clears throat> for the high priestess uh, that could signify whether a big love coming in, right? Or it could signify as well that you are going to establish a, how can I put it into words? Um, longevity, especially when it comes to your career. Now, I would think that it's going to be latter rather than the former. Um, seeing the four of pentacles laying at the end of uh, at the end of the spread for you Libra but hey who knows uh, let's uh, draw the other cards and we are going to see about it so uh, going forward with the, the first card and your start of the month which is uh, the um, the star card is going to be catalyzed by the ten of swords so we do have those two here which are standing for standing for the start of your month and this is going to be uh, it's a pretty strong combination by the way we do have a active supporters here and that is when one kind of like it's, it's sick and have enough of dealing with crap and, and BS and, and shenanigans and all the problems in the world that one doesn't have to deal with in general and uh, it does look like that the start of the month is going to be this kind of like a um, zenith point I don't know how to put it into English where you just say enough it's enough and instead of kind of like participating into a uh, troublesome enterprises troublesome endeavors career-wise relationship wise personally wise uh, it does look like that you are going to be more focused toward the future itself and what you can do to make your life being better uh, now before the month of november actually manifests uh, you might have trouble seeing it you know it, even some of you may feel like you are on the rock bottom but as the month of November initiates, uh, the way through those difficulties is going to be pretty much revealed with uh, with these two cards being there as an influence and uh, as an energy. And what is going to be required from you to do in order to grapple on this opportunity to make your life better and to improve it tremendously here is to be decisive. Uh, these are the circumstances which are dictated by the Ten of Swords. There are going to be some choices that you will have to make, some actions as well that you will have to uh, that you will have to take, and uh, they are going to be, uh, or rather, like you got to make them definitively because they are going to be uh, irrevocable choices that you will have to make, and irreversible actions that you will have to make. But the results 
of these choices and these actions should you play your cards right and you may and you are decisive about it the results are going to be that your future is going to be set up in such a way that is going to completely reciprocate to your uh, standards and as well uh, ideals here and then after you kind of like set your future like this the five of pentacles starts to manifest that is towards the middle of the month here uh, I, I'm quite curious to see what is going to be the other card. We do have the five of wands, right? It, it could have been worse, <laughs> but uh, those are a passive uh, neutrals. And uh, towards the middle of the month, it's true what I said at the start in the overview that you are to see that things are not working out exactly the way you planned or anticipated. Uh, but this uh, having the five of wands being there uh, that is because you didn't have the the full scale or rather like the full picture of uh of the doing so to speak and no different by someone who is thrown into an endeavor or an enterprise that they know little about they kind of like learn on the go and uh that's what's happening here. Yeah, things are not going to work out the way you or entirely work out. Because uh, at the end of the day, it's not going to be the end of the day. Or rather, like, it's not going to be the end of the world. Even though, um, you know, you have to readapt here and there. Still, you will end up kind of like considering your situations being positive situation but uh my point with those couple of cards is that towards the middle of the month you are to see that just having the full picture and making these actions at the start of the month in these decisions kind of is not that enough it's enough to have a good life but it is not enough to have a perfect one and so towards the middle of the month you are also going to start looking towards yourself so to speak and scaling out what you can change about yourself and about your lifestyle here we are talking all about lifestyles and when i say lifestyle i mean the way you address stuff around the way you address your job the way you address your children the way you address yourself as well your family and so on and so forth and certain ways of yours are going to be i can't really say fixed more like a aligned with how your ideals and how your standards are staying uh, are staying and the result of that uh, is going to be that under other circumstances openings and surprising uh, and surprises that you are finding to be aggravating now are going to be seen simply as chances the result is going to be also that you are going to have the chance to resolve uh, predicaments and issues at your career and at your work. Things that you can't, that you couldn't put up with before because they annoyed you, because they uh, made you um, angry, so to speak. But now it's uh, for to you, it's going to seem like you know the tricks of the trade. It's going to seem like a part of the job, so to speak. Uh, the important thing to know uh, here is that if you are kind of like interacting with other people uh, at, that, at that stage of the month is going to be very important to consider that the right move or the right action moving forward that is within the teamwork is anybody's guess. So don't try to enforce your opinion until you made your full research on the situation that you are finding yourself into. Should things are not working out in between you and your significant one at that stage, that is because again, uh, having five of pentacles, that pretty much means that the problem is within us. Okay. And that pretty much means that you are not addressing the situation the way that it needs to be addressed and again you are going to have your opportunity to realign and after the middle of the month passes here the high priestess settles down as an energy and uh, the accompanied card it is the knight of wands so we do have these two Passive enemies, a pretty simple interpretation is that you are going to fix yourself upon a one or two particular things. My point here is that after the middle of the month, you're going to have a pretty good idea what you want and you're not going to look for anything at that point. But instead, you know, working to build up and, and consolidate 
solidify uh, and um, establish, so to speak, what you have acquired from the first half of the month and maybe from the last half of the, the previous month as well. What, what we're talking about here, Libra, it is that after the middle of November, you are going to put a really hard effort into sustaining, sustaining your job and making it from a short term contract, for example, into a long lasting one, showing to your supervisor or to your boss that that is what you want, right? That that is the job you want and uh, or that job means a lot to you for the moment that is and you are not planning to look anywhere else which is going to breed a lot of confidence and, and a lot of trust into those that you rely on career uh, relationship wise same thing is that you are going to start putting efforts to sustain your current one or to sustain the interaction with a person of interest showing them that for now at least should they want it they are the only thing in the world for you and that is going to be recognized and is going to be uh, is going to be rewarded now as i said at the start on the overview that it's a uh, it's a possibility to, for you to uh, kind of like end up having a huge love situation towards the end of the month uh having the conditional card here of the knights of wands that is only if you enter into the month already being in love right so that is how pretty much stand towards this particular month should you not have any interest whatsoever at the start of it or beforehand it's highly unlikely but uh, to, to have any major love situation but having the high priestess here at the end of the month it kind of means that at this stage you are now going to know exactly what you want from your love life and where to find it as well and Having all that at your disposal and at your arsenal, you are going to end up the month here with uh, the Four of Pentacles, uh, which is going to be catalyzed by justice. It's quite of an awkward um, elemental dignity. I don't think I had it before, like ever. Uh, so having those two passive, uh, passive enemies, you got to be very careful uh, having those two energies being entangled and being woven uh, into your experience because simply what they show is that uh, towards the end of November it's not going to be very fair uh, that is universally not towards you but in general uh, literally it's going to be free for all out there that's pretty much what those uh, couple of cards are showing uh, but however it does look like that you are going to enter into that in, into that energy having the upper hand so what you can do is whether it's fair or not you can definitely establish a certainty of your future regarding either your career or regarding either your job or in generally regarding your life both career, love, and personal, you know, uh, kind of like friendship-wise uh, here. And also, uh, those cards are showing it is that you are going to have certain leverage to guard it as well. I don't know how to explain it. Leverage in a sense of that you will have mechanisms to protect it should some kind of a threatening situation ensues. You're going to have uh, mechanisms to protect your relationship should... Um, uh, should such a situation ensues or your job the problem is going to be that those mechanisms are not going to be exactly ethical for example you know a dirty secret of a co-worker that is threatening your job and you are kind of like cornering them in the bathroom saying hey man if you keep up with your advances for my job i am going to say everybody about you and whatever you know which is not very ethical but it's going to do the job so you you kind of like have to decide would you want to use that or not if it comes to that because for not every single one of you is gonna come to it so like i said end of the month free for all out there which you having two steps ahead and uh one thing you need to know or rather like i should say into such kind of an elemental dignities is that more often than not life shows us that 
things in this world doesn't belong to the hard-working ones, it doesn't belong to the one who deserves them, but it belongs to the one who takes them. You have the chance to take what you want, or rather like what, what you can at the end of the month, and if you play fair, you're not gonna take all you can. And I hope that if that's the case, you go forward with your life, you can live with it. Or you can live with it if you go for to take whatever you can as well. So major choices liberal towards the end of the month and towards the end at the start of the month. I hope you make them accurately for yourself and you can live with your choices. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then.